it's not uncommon that I get asked, what mouthpiece do you use? What instrument do you use? Etc. Etc. So I figured I'd create this video talking about what gear I use frequently and why I use it. So we'll start just with horns and mouthpieces. So my main horn over on this side is the Yamaha YTR 8310Z Bobby Shoe model. Um, it's just a big mouthful that really just means it's a nice horn. Um, it's sort of meant to play jazz. You'll see it has a reverse lead pipe. Uh, the lead pipe's also very conical. I don't know if that's really characteristic of jazz horns, but it's pretty lightweight. It really sparkles up in the high register. It's very free because of the reverse lead pipe. And it's got a nice generous bell flare that you can put a good amount of air through. It is, I guess, meant to play jazz, but it works really well in all styles. It's got a very free sound through all the registers, and it's it's a good thing I have this horn. If I had anything inferior, I'd be having a lot more problems than I am in low range right now, so I'm lucky to have this. Moving along, we have the, uh, the one that plays mellow. This is a John Packer JP071 Mark II student model cornet. I got this for 160 bucks. Plays like a dream. Um, lacquer was quite poor, so I've stripped that off, but it plays really, really nicely, particularly if you use a teeth mouthpiece. I would be comfortable recommending this to just about all beginners, all middle school students, most high school students, um, even if it is just a doubler's horn. I use this um, for playing mellow stuff, but also to just uh, keep it school. Well, I don't keep it at school. I still drag it back and forth so I can play it at home because it's fun. But uh, it's an inexpensive horn that I mainly use for school stuff. So that is a nice little student model that I own. And uh, last but not least, we have the Bach Artisan AP190 Piccolo Trumpet. Really, really nice piccolo. It's definitely up there with the Shoki P5s, or is that the model number? I can't remember. But um, it's really nice. It's got, you know, good slotting, decent intonation as far as piccolo trumpets go. And you know, I'm really lucky to have one of these. So those are... I think that's pretty much self-explanatory considering it's part of the Bach Artisan line, but those are the three main horns that I use. Yeah, I do own a couple others. Wouldn't really recommend them. So now we'll move on to mouthpieces. My main mouthpiece for just, you know, my go-to mouthpiece is this Bach Megatone 1.5A. Now what does that mean? Well, the 1.5 rim is quite wide. Uh, they do get wider all the way down to 1, and you can probably custom order mouthpieces that are larger than that. Uh, and it's got an A cup. Now an A cup is pretty deep. I mean, yeah, it's it's not as deep as you get on a lot of cornet flugelhorn mouthpieces, but it's fairly deep. So yeah, a lot of players tend to go B cup or shallower. I just prefer the A cup because it gives me better low range, and that's sort of what I need right now because my low range sucks. So that's what I use this for. I don't plan on changing anytime soon because I love the rim size, love the cup depth. Just a nice mouthpiece overall. Uh, occasionally, when I have a whole bunch of junk above the staff, I'll use uh, this Bob Reeves 43C. It's a little bit smaller, even in terms of rim size, than this, so that's unfortunate, but it gives me a, a really nice crisp sound up high. Uh, deep cut mouthpieces tend to sound a little bit foggy in the stratosphere. This fixes that entirely. It's really all you could ask for in a lead mouthpiece. I mean, Bob Reeves makes some really great stuff. And then my cornet mouthpiece is a Dennis Wick 2. It's an absolute pig of a mouthpiece, but I like it a lot. Uh, a 2 is about a 1.5 on, on the box scale, so it's essentially the same rim as one of these, uh, except adding a little bit of a different shape. Uh, and it's got a very deep cup. I can stick nearly my entire first joint into there, so... That's what a Dennis Wick 2 is. It's a lot of fun to play on and it gives you a really nice tone quality. It's really what you're looking for if you want to set your trumpet playing and your cornet playing apart in terms of sound. That's what a deep mouthpiece does is it really accents the lower overtones rather than the higher ones and it just gives you that nice dark sound. I should tack on a little note at this point in the video that on piccolo trumpet I play exclusively on cornet lead pipes. The intonation is just a lot better, and it sounds a little less shrill. 
Here's the issue. I don't really have a good cornet mouthpiece to use on piccolo trumpet. I want to try out a stork mouthpiece potentially, but you know I don't know where to start there, and I have a lot of mouthpieces. The problem is, the only relatively shallow cornet mouthpiece that I have is a Blessing 3C, and uh, it works, but it's a Blessing, so I'd hesitate to recommend it. But if you play piccolo trumpet, play it on the cornet lead pipe, and get a shallow cornet mouthpiece, maybe a C or D cup for piccolo trumpet use. I, you can get an E or an F cup, but frankly, I don't like playing on mouthpieces that are that shallow. This final gear segment is just going to be a rapid fire list of the different accessories I use. So, straight mute, I use a Liberty brand. It's got a really nice sound, but you gotta make sure you have some super glue around because those corks do tend to come off. Once they're super glued, they're fine, but all three have come off at some point. Uh, as for my cup mute, I use a dense wick adjustable, really nice. Uh, for my Harman, I don't really use a Harman, I use a Joe Rowell bubble because it's what fits in my bell and it, what, it gives me, you know, a nice sound. And for practice mute, I use the Yamaha Silent Brass. It's got some really nice electronic features to work with, which is cool. Bell oil, I use on my main horn because I haven't converted it over, I use Alcas fast. Um, on my piccolo trumpet, I use Hetman number no. one. I want to start using this on my main horn. But I want to get it can clean first, just to be sure. I, I use this on my slides as well, it's pretty good. They like to clean some residue off every now and then. Uh, for the thicker stuff, I use Yamaha Premium Slide Grease. I mean, it, it came with my horn. It works well, whatever, it's slightly thicker. Um, trumpet stands, I use Koenig & Myers trumpet stands, uh, trumpet one for my trumpet. Unfortunately, it's only got three legs. I don't have a five-legged one. And then this four-legged clarinet stand for my piccolo trumpet, because it works. So, that is some accessories that I use on my instruments.